Hi, this is Eva from White Blue Sky. Has it ever happened to you that what you wanted to say to another person wasn't necessarily what the other person understood? Like, for example, in your classroom, you gave instructions or explanations to your students and somehow they would understand or do something different or completely different? Now, I hope it doesn't happen during this course because this session, uh, the second session out of four sessions on communication is about communication's clarity. Now, what happens with uh, communication between people can be compared to a deadline game. Have you ever played a deadline game? It's a game where people stand in a row and the first person uh, whispers a message to another person in the row and that another person to a, yet another person in the row and the message is transmitted throughout the whole row of people until it reaches the last person and that last person has to repeat what the original message was. Well, if you have played that game, you probably know that most of the times Uh, co a completely different message comes out of the mouth of the last person involved than came out of the mouth of the first person involved and the message is completely changed. And this game shows uh, how easily our communication can be distracted. Now, communication, uh, as you look at the word itself, is a common action. Uh, and it, it involves uh, at least two parties, at least two people. This is why you are actually never in control over the communication's outcome. You can say one thing, but it doesn't necessarily mean that the other party will understand exactly what you mean. The good news is, however, that you are in control over what you say and do to pass your message in the clearest possible way. This course ex equips you with several tools uh, that will help you prevent communication distractions happen between you and your students. Now, why uh, this session uh, focuses on clarity of communication? Well, if you think about the future of your students, uh, for some of them at least, it will mean communicating with people from all over the world, from different cultures, possibly in different languages, uh, via phone or uh, email or whatever other means of communications are invented um, until that day. Uh, look at me, for example. I am communicating to you without seeing you uh, through my computer uh, in a language that is not uh, my first language, uh, doing my best to uh, pass my message in the clearest possible way. And this is why clarity of a message of communication uh, is so important. There are going to be so many distractions in communication for your students uh, that they'll have to be able to pass their message clearly and do everything best uh, that they can to make sure that the other person understands what they mean. Uh, again, as in session one, uh, during this session, we're going to work on two levels. Uh, firstly, we will teach you uh, a bit of things about the communications clarity, so then you can go on and teach your students. As I mentioned uh, in the session one of this course, uh, students will not only listen to what you have to say about clarity of communication, They will also look uh, at what you do and observe what you do uh, and uh, you will become a role model to them. And this is why uh, it is very important for teachers to actually possess the um, skill of clear communication. And the good news is that uh, communication clarity can be trained. It is a skill for life and it becomes more and more important in the world we live in. So, uh, saying that, I wish you a very pleasant course, have a lot of fun, and uh, please don't forget to fill out an exit ticket, uh, and you will know what I mean when you will finish this course. Good luck! <laughs>